Hello, I am Johnny and welcome back to my kitchen. You know what? It's absolutely pitch black outside and I feel like I've only done a few videos. And the day's just gone. It's getting on to five o'clock now. So, if you hear a goat in the background, it's not. It's me slapping my lips, eating chewing gum. Mmm, right. Right. Oh, I just love that Airwaves chewing gum. Do you know the black mint? Absolutely gorgeous. And I can't get it anywhere. And my last two packs. I get into it. So this is an unboxing. Of three tiny boxes. From the Rowan Trees. Right. I know I said I wouldn't get any more. Oh look at that. I know I said I wouldn't get any more boxes from them. But they had a sale on three for the price of two. So I paid £40 for three. The last box I got was the After Dark box, £35, and I tell you, what a rip-off. I'll leave the details down below if you want to check that out, because I never got much for 35 quid. I think I got about three washi tapes, a few bits of scrapbooking paper, um, not an art print. I was really looking forward to an art print, but I never got one. Just not much for 35 quid. Um, these boxes and the uh, the after dark boxes are the quarterly boxes. Um, these boxes are the monthly boxes. They're twenty pound a month. Um, and you get stationery supplies in them. Um, I chose um. Oh well, I won't tell you. I'll just open them. But I chose three ones that I really like. Whether or not they will be worth it. I just hope it's not going to turn into a money video. Because recently somebody sent me a message and called me a whinger. So <laughs> I just messaged them back and said, well, I've been told, haven't I? So I'm not bothered. I prefer the term moaner to whinger, but never mind. Call me what you want. I'm not bothered. So let's get on to it. Oh, no. That one's got stickers on. Why has this one got stickers on and the others aren't? So, they're just in a plain brown box. Nothing exciting, but at the end of the day, I suppose, they're trying to um, lower the carbon footprint. So, by putting ink and stuff on it, that wouldn't. I'm just going to check my bath, sorry. Just stop my bath. I'll just have to show you this. Look at this. I got this from um, Amazon. Um, and it's, what is it? It's a bubble bath. I normally don't like bubble bath. I like the oils. But this is absolutely gorgeous and just makes me feel so nice. And it's 96% uh, pure and environmentally safe and all of that. Um, but make sure you get it in a sale because I thought it was pretty expensive. But there we go. Oh, by the way, I don't need to say that. I'm not affiliated in any way by, what's it called? Humble Natural Sustainable Beauty. Right, well, it didn't make me beautiful. just made me feel nice. Right, get into, yes. So, I don't think this, oh, that's where I don't. I bought three boxes for the price of two and then some bits that I'd seen in it, I bought them separate because I really liked these. I've seen these in a previous unboxing in the erasers and they are sushi. And I went on Amazon to see how much they were. 15 99 for these on Amazon. But from the, under the round trees, they're only 3 99 and I just love these. I mean, I won't use them because it seems a shame to use them. I will just, I'm going to put them on a shelf and I'm going to open them up because I'm not going to. The packaging's just so nice though. I don't want to destroy it, but I'll have to to get into it. Sushi eraser. Right. Yes, I'm going to ruin the packaging, but the stuff inside is much better. Come on, open. And I haven't done a very good job. Where's my trusty finger? Oh, well, it's coming off. Oh. 
shall I go in a bit more? Right. I just think they're so gorgeous. Now look, and they come off the plate. I'm going to sniff them. Oh, they don't smell. I thought they'd smell like fishies. Yeah, but they're very nice. And then there's this. I have had um, proper sushi once from your sushi in Newcastle. The food goes along a conveyor belt. I uh, just, I thought the whole, the whole shop and the whole experience was brilliant. Um, and now I just get like, you know, from Morrison's. I think it's Morrison's or Aldi. And it's just like, um, or is it a bit of salmon stuck on and a bit of rice? And, and I don't like that. Is it soy sauce and all? Oh, God, that's all horrible. These are quite fun. Uh, look at the detail. So cool, isn't it? And these are the rolls. Normally, they've got like a bit of um, cucumber shoved in. I love cucumber. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put these on my shelf with my mini brands, the toys. Yes, really cute. I like them. Right, so I wonder if this is the box. Um, yeah, cause I never ordered this. This is washi tape. It's just a garland. Oh, that's it. This this was the, um, it's not the Christmas box. It was November's box, I think. Why does it tell you on here? Yeah, November's box. And it was like a Christmassy scene. I don't normally like getting Christmassy things. But when I seen this unboxing, I just love the stickers and that. And I thought it was quite nice. Yeah, so that's the Christmas garland. They're quite nice. And then these two pens, um, where is it? Pilot G207. I enjoy using Pilot pens. They are very good. And these are nice because they're just, the, they've got a really nice grip on and they're just the right thickness. And I am going to ooh, try them out. There's a thingy on the end of it, which I can never get off. What? Use your teeth and it comes straight off. Right, paper. Right. Never write my name like that, boss. Oh, are they shiny? Gel pen. And it's green. Has that got shine? Yeah, it's got shine in it. Well, I like the green colour and it's quite nice for the green. Does it tell you on here it's got glitter in? It just says pilot, pilot. Must be like glittery for the uh, season. Um, red and green. Quite nice. I like those pens. You know when I get pens you just think they're going to last forever, don't you? Well, they don't. Quite a few of mine's ran out. That's, um... Oh... I don't like that red, it's too dark. It's more like a blood red, an artery red. And I can't even see the shine in that. They're all right. Pens, aren't they? Um, these stickers. That's cute. As I say, I don't normally go for Christmassy things, but I do like them. Very nice. And a sausage dog with a scarf on. And he's some... Um, I don't use paper clips either. But um, these are very nice. And I've just recently got a nice little dish. So these would look quite nice in it. Just for decoration. Sorry about my scabby fingers. I'm just biting all my nails off again. Um, and this is... Oh, that's the cheat sheet. Don't want to look at that, do we? Not yet. Uh, these are washi tape stickers. Yes, they are. 
and these are just so nice. Do you know what you could do? Um, you could sketch out a figure and then shove the jumper over, shove the hat and the mitts and the socks on. Like, do you know when those dress up dollies? Quite nice. Yeah, I just, I love them. And this is some cards. These are too nice to give to people. Because <laughs> I, I always think you give them to people and people are very appreciative that you've got them nice cards. But I think the majority just either dump them in the bin or put them in recycling. Unless you're a crafty person like me who saves absolutely everything. So I'm just going to keep these for myself and I will probably scrapbook them. Very nice. It's got like a, a glossy sheen inside. And I think that's a... Is that a pine cone? And that's... It's just so nice, those cards. And then I think you get one of these in every month. It's just like a calendar. But you could scrapbook. I wouldn't use this as a calendar, but it's nice, isn't it? Just a little extra you could use her in scrapbooking. And these are the two. Um, oh, they're nice, aren't they? Oh, gold, shiny. Oh, they're really nice. Them. I like them. So they're the envelopes for the cards. And then what is this? Oh, some lovely wrapping paper. See, now that's a real shame to wrap that around a present. I mean, I'm not very good at wrapping up presents, but, I mean, I suppose I could look at a tutorial on YouTube. It's just a waste, isn't it? It's just to get ripped off. So I'm going to keep this myself and I could just cut it and put just use it as like papers for scrapbooking and that um because that is just absolutely gorgeous i wonder who the designer is i'll have to look them up yes so we get that paper oh, should i group everything we get the paper i've just showed you that um the two envelopes for the two cards. Oh, you see people doing the unboxings and then they put everything in the box and it just looks so nice the way they stage things. Well, I can't do that. I thought there was two of these sticker sheets, but never mind. Unfortunate that you had to be stingy. Um, and there's just like one paper. Yes, very stingy. I mean, I do love everything out the box, but you are stingy with what you... Would it be much better to get two sticker sheets and two papers? I says £20 for the box. Do you think it's worth it? Well, you're paying for the artwork, aren't you? And for the artwork, yes, I do. But saying that, I don't think there's a lot of items, but I am loving the box, so. <sighs> what do you think? Tell me your thoughts if you think it's worth it. But I'm just loving this box, so I'll pause you for a sec, shove everything back and then get the next one out. Oh my god, and I'm just going by Anna. I said it was the November box. Well, obviously it's not. It's the December box. <laughs> I was looking at that while I was telling you. Oh god. It's the December box. The Christmas box. There. So, if you work it out, I've got three boxes for the price of two. So, and the £20 each... Does that work out to £13.33? I'll just pause. Oh, God, I can't look at my calculator. A sec. Yeah, I've worked it out the piece of paper. 
It does. The, you've got three boxes for 40 quid. So uh, to break it down, they are actually £13.33 each. So yes, I do think that box is worth £13.33. Um, and you've got the two pens. Oh, yeah. Missing that out, aren't you? You've got the two pens as well. And I don't know about, what do you think, £2 for the pens? Yeah, so... Do I think it's worth 20 quid? Mm. Well, if you're a huge stationery lover, probably. Mm. But it's a bargain for 13.33. Right. Oh, God, and you got the washi tape as well, didn't you? Maybe I should just shut up. Maybe that person was right calling me a whinger. Yes, the box was worth it. I can't believe I'm saying that because every other box I've had hasn't been worth it. Right. Oh, this feels like a brick, this one. Why are the boxes ripping when I bend them? Ooh, go out a bit. What's this? I pick two things up. Oh, yeah. And I got a... Uh, Ocean, a sea box, I can't remember what it was, and it's got, it had whales and a whale book, activity book. Anyway, I sent that to my friend Zoe for her daughter, Drusilla. Um, and I can't remember if I gave her the stickers or not, but I can't find them anywhere, so I must have done. And I just love them, so I ordered some more. It's like from a previous box. Um, but I don't know why they didn't shove it all into there, because that was, I got... Well, what else did I buy? I got the sushi erasers and I got the stickers. Maybe in the other box I'll shove something else there. So this box, it wasn't April's, was it? Can't remember what it was. Oh. Well, this is very nice. It's uh, one of those planner jotter things. The paper is... Extremely thin, but you don't need a uh, thick paper when you're just writing little notlets. Probably do me little doodles in there, and that's the thickness. A uh, very nice. Um, right. Hmm. Yes. Right. This is. I'm confused. So I bought this separately from the boxes. I bought that separately and I got the sushi rubbers separately. Also these, because these were from a wicker box that I quite liked. Uh, oh, the paper texture feels very nice. Feels textured like what you'd use for watercolour. Yeah, I just love these. I'm going to put these in my scrapbook. And I love this vellum sheet as well. Maybe next time. Mind you, it's a shame they don't put an invoice in the box. Because my laptop's dead, so it's charging up. Otherwise, I would have uh, opened my laptop and I would have been able to explain to you. But that is December's box. I can't remember what this box is, but... The reason why I got this one is because it's got cacti on it. And I absolutely love cacti. And the design, the illustration looked very nice as well. Oh, cheat sheet. I never read the other cheat sheet, did I? Where did I put it? Where are you? Where did I put that cheat sheet? Oh. Right, here it is. So let's go back to this box. Yes, as you can see, I'm very organised. Festive fields, Rowan Berry box contents, washi sticker sheets, delicate watercolour artwork, deserves the finest quality paper stickers, washi tape, a narrow string of festive lights, ideal for card making or dividing pages into your journal. 
Festive gel pens, deep rich colours and add a bit of sparkle, sparkle help make your writing list extra special. Vinyl stickers, three clear stickers, weather resistant and scratch proof. Greetings cards, let someone know you are thinking of them. Yes, well I'm thinking of myself because I am keeping them. With these beautiful A6 cards. Oh, just looked. Battery power, 15%. Well, I don't have to rush 15% last night. Um, fabulous gift wrap. Almost too fabulous. It is too fabulous because I won't be wrapping gifts up with it. It's an A2 sheet. Right. So, that's the cheat sheet for the next box. So, then we have got these pens. They are Pentel Brush Sign Twin Pen. And, oh yeah, I thought it was marked, but it's just a bit of mug. And we've got, it's that baby blue and pink. So, where's my paper at? Is this a brush pen? I love brush pens. Yeah, brush pen. And this is a bit of a skinny one. Yes, that is like a very peachy pink. Yes, like them two pens. Oh, and what's that? September's box it was. But which year, I don't know. And then there's a jotter. You know I'm going to miss getting these jotters. I used to get them in um, scroll, not scroller box, in paper gang. But I mean, I suppose you can get them cheap enough on Amazon. It's just the the illustrations. Oh, they're gorgeous. I bought some stickers like this recently from Timo. The tile stickers. These are just absolutely stunning. And that is blank on the other side. It's it's quite nice paper, thick. Yeah, very nice. Do love that. Oh, there's the... I think that's watercolour. Just some cards. And this is vellum paper. Very useful for scrapbooking. More vellum. The design, I quite like these uh, designs. It's like a mandala, isn't it? Very nice. Um, oh, seems a bit stingy on this box. Are there washi tape stickers? Yes. Quite like them. They're nice. And then three bits of vellum. Three cards, um, a jotter, two pens, um, the calendar thing, and this is the cheat sheet. Would you say that's worth 20 quid? No, but I paid 13.33, so yeah, I think it's worth that, because you got these two nice pens. Oh, look, you got... Is that, yeah, three of them. No, okay, I haven't presented it very nice. So let's get into the cheat sheet. Rowanberry box contents. Oh, it's called Deserted Dreams. I mean, you can use that as a uh, stick it in your book. I quite like that. Yeah, see, in the cacti, and you don't really get, I thought you'd get, you know, the stick is bigger. Well, never mind. List pad. Keep a track of your to-do list or tear off your shopping reminders stationery, of course. The newest brush pens in baby blue and pale orange. Ideal for brush lettering or illustration. Square postcards. Are there postcards? Oh, well, 
Just looks like an art print thing to me. Um, shouted out to become... The watercolour designs shouted out to become square postcards, great for scrapbooking too. Square vellum, Moroccan tiles look amazingly printed on semi-transparent veg-based vellum. Sticker sheet, yes there are a few squares here too. Plus gorgeous textured finish with permanent adhesive. You know what, I'm surprised I never stuck a bit of washi tape in. I mean, yes, but nice enough, but I wouldn't pay 20 quid for this box. Maybe I'm stingy. Tell me what you think. Would you pay 20 quid for this box? Right, the next one. And, oh, look, there's some. Is that washi tape of, um... Cacti. Right. Ooh, look, this box looks a bit more to it. That's a um, crystal sticker. I would have preferred that just to be plain, not like all shiny like that, but never mind. Here's some washi tape. Yeah, I think that's the washi tape here. There, on the very nice, um, and I think I seen this, and it was green, but it's blue. I've never seen a blue cacti, have you? That's a shame it's not green, but uh, is it a pen? Come on, brain, get into gear. Yes, it's a pen. Oh, and it's one of those liners. Oh, yes, that's really lovely to use. Liner pen. It's very nice. I mean, I'm not a pink person, but it is nice. And I do like that. Just a shame it wasn't green. But... I think it will be very awkward to write with. It's a bit too top heavy. So you would. Will that write still write? I'm just going to check. No, it won't. Hmm. Well, it would just be a challenge then, wouldn't it? Yes, well, it's nice all the same. Then we get some... They're a really nice bag, netty, a purple netty bag. And it's got some... Oh, what's that? Is that like a crystal? Goodness. Oh, yes, it's like a... But it's really dark. It's, it's like black. Oh, I hope there isn't some black spirits in that. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be purple, but it's really, really dark. Hmm. I mean, it'd be all right to wear, wouldn't it? It would have been much nicer if it was a lighter colour, like. And then, um, how do these work? This is some sort of clip. But with my fingers, I can't open that yet. Yeah, it's like a bulldog clip. That is pretty. And a paper clip. Cacti. And what is this? Oh, I like that. That's another paper clip. As I say, I don't use paper clips, but they look decorative. Uh, shove them on your desk in a dish, don't they? Mm. Can you see that? It's like very dark. A really dark black crystal. Who would wear a black crystal? Oh, remember that program. Who lives in a house like this? I used to like that. Right. So then this is some... Is this a jotter? Well, you could use it in scrapbooking because of this pattern. I don't think I'd write over there. It would be a bit confusing, wouldn't it? Um, I'd be more likely to write on the back. But... 
I think it's a shame to use that as a jotter. Like that. Probably use that for scrapbooking. Um, let's see. Get everything out of the box. Very nice. What is this? That's the cheat sheet, but you could, it feels very nice, textured paper. That's quite nice. Could cut them out and put them on a little shelf or something. Um, this, oh, they haven't been stingy this time on stickers, but I would have preferred to have, but that's just my preference. Two of these and one of them, but you know what? They are very nice. Washi tape stickers. Yeah, I just love succulents and cacti. The only plants that seem to flourish in my flat. And crystals. Right, and then we have got some papers. Very nice, cacti, succulents, single sided, oh they are just so cute, terrariums with cacti in, succulents, so you get two, three, four, five, six bits of paper, three lots of stickers you get some paper clips and that some washi tape cool pen another sticker and you get this jotter bargain for 13.33 all right let's see what this says a6 notepad, 50 pages of note paper for scribbling down your thoughts or writing love letters to your plants. <laughs> yes, that's the only things that will get a love letter off me is my plants. Gel pen. Pens can be fun too. This little chap will look great in your pen pot. Yes. Paper clips. Mark your page, keep your receipts together or make your notebook look pretty with these clips. Holographic sticker, thick holographic durable vinyl sticker, ideal for the front of your journal or the back of your phone. Scrapbooking papers. Get creative with these double-sided A5 paper sheets, ideal for scrapbooking or journaling. Washi tape. Low-tack washi tape is repositionable and ideal for sticking to other paper products. Stickers. Love the delicate colour artwork, even if it is spiky. And that is, I will show you the socials if you're interested in these boxes. If I was you, I'd wait lose the sale on because three boxes, 40 quid, I think that is good value. Yes. So, I am very pleased with these boxes. Yes, I am. Um, really nice stationery. Hey, look at that. I've been babbling on for 33 minutes. So I must remember that is December's. Because hmm. it's December now, so it's the recent one. Anyway. Oh, yeah, me freebie. Well, me freebies. Like, I got them for free. No, I bought them. Um, These... Uh, me sushi things, me stickers, and their other jotter. Oh, look. May as well get them all over. I should have paused, shouldn't I? And then positioned everything all nice. But I'm just blabbering away to myself. So, the uh, sticker. And that jotter. Yes. So, I am very pleased with these boxes. Um... If I remember, I'll put the details down below, but as I say, if you just pause the video, there are the socials there. Right. Thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you bye.